Hi, I'm Jamie Philbrook with I Am Rogue. I'm here with Aaron Cohen, technical advisor for Haywire. And uh, you're going to go through some of the weapons that we use in the film, right? Yeah, yeah, Great. yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, well, the, all the equipment and stuff that you see here, this was all actual equipment that uh, I used to train Gino. Gino went through uh, a six-week tactical immersion uh, training program. Channing Tatum went through about two weeks. And Michael Fassbender went through a week. And just to give you a, you know, a taste, uh, this is a, a tactical vest. It's a modular urban vest. holds weapons and magazines. This is the actual micro Uzi that Gina trained with. Uh, it's a replica. Okay. Hand chosen uh, based on the script and based on the operation. There's a big hostage rescue mission that happens in Barcelona. I, my training is in Israel, so obviously I'm partial to the Uzi, but it, it, there's a reason why it's, as you can see, it's really, it's less than a foot long when it's uh, collapsed. Um, and then it opens up into a submachine gun that's really functional. Holds a lot of ammunition, so you can switch magazines really, really quickly and go from one to the other when you run out. Was that hard for Gina to get used to, kind of using that? No, or? I had so much time with her, and I got inside her head so, so quickly that it was business time. So yeah. there was no time to, 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 to fumble with any of the stuff. And she's, you know, she's a professional fighter, so there wasn't a lot of, there was nothing hard about any of the stuff with her. She had, she had so much balance and agility, and her physicality was so high that it was really a, it was a pleasure to train her. You know, I would take her on my special ops team. Um, <laughs> you, you would select her for your I, special yeah, team. I, I still might. I still might. <laughs> um, you can see the Uzi here. This is a laptop bag. Uh, okay. But really, it's a concealment bag for an Uzi. And it's custom designed and cut for the weapon. So, uh, again, the main, uh, the, main, the main weapon here being the element of surprise. Here's one more example of it. This is a guitar bag. You'll see it early on in the film. But really, it's a breakaway bag for an M4 carbine. Um, and, again, this is all about uh, special ops. So, all this equipment, all the weapons... Uh, about six weeks of, of time together in pre-production leading up to, uh, to actual principal photography. And did you go with Steven, sort of select which weapons to use, or did he just kind of go with your judgment no, with whatever said, you thought was said, best? No, he said, hey, you know, you pick and put together whatever needs to be done, and, and then you do what you need to do with her and train to make it real. And did you read and the script he, to get he, an idea for what was needed for those scenes? Well, when I was, it's interesting. When I was brought onto the film, uh, there wasn't a script, and that's one of the things I originally did with him and Lem Dobbs was, was put together a storyline that was believable. Steven uh, uh, had a clear idea of, 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 of a couple of things that he wanted to base it around. Um, but my interview turned into an eight-hour uh, script session, <laughs> and then we went from there. And I, I, he, he, read, he read a book that I wrote, uh, which came out a couple years ago, and uh, you know, called me up and said, hey, can you come over? <laughs> Uh, I'd love for you to work on this film. I'm a big fan, and, and, and I said, hey, I'm a big fan of traffic. And um, that eight-hour session turned into about a year and a half awesome. uh, uh, together. And so uh, you're going to see a lot of Israeli Special Forces thumbprint all over Haywire. Okay, cool. And what's that on the end? <clears throat> That's a night vision goggle system, because when the lights go out, you never know when you need to right. <laughs> see the dark. <laughs> so those um, can come it's, 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 yeah, it's a monocular, uh, yeah, it straps onto a helmet, or, or you can wear it at night for night operations. Um, this is what would go inside the vest you can feel. Uh, obviously, oh, it's wow. a straight plate, and that's you know what stops the bullets yeah. uh, uh, when you get into a, a situation. And this is you know again a little European backpack or a little pouch, uh, but inside again breakaway bag, custom design for you know a pistol. And so uh, it's all to conceal and to make it as it's uh, just, it's, yeah. This is the real deal stuff. There's no nothing gratuitous about this film. There's nothing gratuitous about the training. Everything here is designed to to, to accurately reflect and, and mimic what special operations forces do every day uh, in the private sector, and, and Gina represents that authentically, and, and, and it's shot beautifully, and, and it's, you've got you know, great people coming together to, to put together a very real, good-looking film, and so, you know, January 20th. Awesome, and uh, finally, I just want to ask you, um, of, you've seen the final film, what's your favorite um, scene or thing that maybe you contributed to? I like the scene that I was in at the beginning. Yeah, at the beginning. Yeah, well, the, the big hostage rescue scene. Oh, are you one of the guys? Yeah, I'm one of the guys. Oh, it's nice. Awesome. Well, we'll look forward to that. Right, Thanks so much, man. Thank Appreciate you Aaron. Much. Thank nice you. Meeting you. Hey, Wire. I've never done a woman before. You shouldn't think of her as being a woman. That would be a mistake.